for a home, you've probably weighed your options on if it's a good time to step into the market. Yeah, house prices have gone up on a year-to-year -year basis, but experts say that hide some underlying dynamics. Hope Merritt has more on what you need to know about housing trends in our area. Hope? Rising mortgage rates and slowing home sales are affecting buyers and sellers across the country, and many have seen it right here in the Brazos Valley. Through the years, Cherry Rafino has seen the ups and downs of the housing market. The last two or three years, nothing was normal about that. I have never seen it in over 40 years. To get 25 to 30 offers on one property for people to be paying 10, 15, 20, 30 thousand dollars more. Right now, Cherry says buyers and sellers are adjusting to a new normal. Average days on the market before all of this happened was 90 to 120 days. Now we're looking at 45 to 60 days on the market. Our average sales price is between 275, 290, up to like 300. So you're gonna have competition there, but you're not gonna com be competing against 30 offers. I think the most I've seen on a property recently is three to five. Experts say the issue comes as the Fed fights against inflation, leaving interest rates high. Buyers fear, but you don't wanna wait for interest rates to go down because what if they go up? you know, or what if the, there's not as many homes to choose from. Bryan College Station has been a little bit more stable um, than a lot of other places in Texas, especially uh, Austin. Uh, and so right now we're still reporting um, unusually high year-over-year -year price growth. Real estate expert Adam Perdue says market conditions will remain steady. It is basic supply and demand just like every other market. If you want to put it in sellers versus uh, buyers markets terms, it's nobody's market. Uh, it's harder and harder for buyers to afford uh, to pay for the housing prices that we've seen. And so then, I mean, so they're not any better off either right now. There's fear on both sides, but it, it, as I said, it's adjusting, it's normalizing, if you will. The Texas Real Estate Center says as of February of this year, the median price for home, for home sales was just above $300,000. In the news center, Hope Merritt, News 3. When we come back, College Station ISD is showing off how they've been using some money from recent grants.